All right, I'm Rick Telepero, Mr. Telepero TV, the guy you hear on my intro, Ricky Rose, Rick Ross, the boss, has ducked what could have been a very, very bad situation. All right, TMZ is reporting that Ricky Rose, Rick Ross, will avoid jail time and plead to, um, what is it, to five misdemeanors, assault, battery, two counts of pointing a pistol at someone, and possession of less than an ounce of pot. And um, he pled no contest to one felony count of aggravated assault. The other felonies were dropped. And Rose called me crazy. Because he had really been stressing about this. Remember Ross had been saying, I want to get colleges in Georgia involved. I want I want law students involved. Tell me, am I, am I getting the bad end of a stick here? Look, Ross is going to get 60 months probation. Him and his security guard. I got it out, man. He got a lot of love for homie. Um, Really showed me love when Rose was uh, around me. Ross is going to get 60 months probation. 60 months probation for what they had plans to do to him for a kidnapping charge. Anytime you hear that K word, usually nothing good comes with it. It's usually a negative connotation, as it should be with the word kidnapping. Um, remember, for those who don't, back in Rose's Evander Holyfield crib that he has in Atlanta, reportedly, He's seen guys that were supposed to be doing some work on his crib. He came back off a trip. I had just seen Rose like four days before that. He had came and went back to his home in Atlanta. And when he got back to Atlanta, he seen somebody throwing a party in his crib. He took a pistol, pistol whipped the guy, allegedly. All right? And um, I don't know what I would do in that situation. I, I, I'd rather leave that comment less, but uh, I can't somebody in my crib that's supposed to be working and they doing some other stuff. Who knows where I'm going to take this. But anyways, if that is the case, this could have been way worse, right? Probably going to get a civil suit in this situation. If I'm them, that's what you do with celebrities. You get the bread. Rose got it. He's going to be able to avoid jail time. And the great thing about this, under his deal, he won't have any travel restrictions. He'll probably have to check in. But he won't have any travel restrictions. He can go promote this album, do a tour. Got to do a tour sooner or later. Uh, Rose, it's about time Rose get out on a tour. Maybe an MMG tour is about to come our way. But Rose really lucked up, guys. I'm serious, man. Now, a lot of people around him were concerned that he was going to do a lot of jail time for this one, at least a couple years. And the fact that he's just going to be able to uh, probation it on out and have somebody in his business. Rose does a lot of paperwork with his business. He does his business the correct way with a lot of businesses and everything like that. So he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll, he, he might not like all the attention that he's going to be getting from the feds, but he'll be fine. 60 months probation compared to what they were going to give him. I think Rose's considering this a W. All right. After Telefrail, Miss Telefrail TV, Rose gets 60 months probation for the kidnapping and a plethora of other charges. Um, it looks like he lucked up here because this could have really been worse. All right. Thank you for the time. Love support. It's Mr. T.com, April 15th. If you rock with me, you know what's up with me, comment that April 15th in the comment section if you're ready for my website. Thank y'all for the time, love, support, salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at bookingatismistelefero.com. Again, that's booking at his mistelefero.com.